Nomba na manzi Si chinga linga ni na chikondi chanili nacho Paliweo Nika pasha vola vila Nika saba ile Oma nini ni tiala Tuku konda tiala Uni wamisha Mwausekela Mwaumwetu kila Mwaunilangila Mwaunibundulila Mwauyendela We cover this day under the blood of Jesus. We cover, Lord, O oh God, the program into your hands. That, Lord, O oh God, may you take your prominent place this day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray. With a lot of thanksgiving in my heart, say amen. amen. I would like to have the servers or the, the hosts 
at the entrance to ensure that everyone gets seated. It's a free seating apart from the tables that are closer to me. So please get comfortable and be seated please ladies, thank you.
well coordinated, good floor arrangements. The food looks amazing, the drinks are flowing. Please give them a round of applause. Without much further ado, I would like to call upon the groom's family. The groom's family, I believe the groom has been here from 8 a.m. The groom's family, as he joins us to unveil the bride. Thank <laughs> you. 
overview of what exactly we're doing. So we are unveiling our bride in the African tradition. There are others that do prefer that the bride is unveiled once at their wedding, but then seeing that the bride and the mom and the groom haven't been here, especially the bride for a very long time, it's best that he experiences and she experiences everything very sudden and very cultural. Watch your watch your watch your Who was not rushed? Let's not teach the wrong things. Hey. <laughs> presentation. 
Asia. Before that. Mr. DJ, cut the music. Now we got a number of women at Love is a beautiful thing. Why, Chabu? If I go to a rapid fast track. Fast, fast, my mother had eight daughters. She had no son and she was a single mother. And I was the notorious, you know, at black sheep, black sheep of the family, it was I. Quick, we went. We never held hands. We... So when I see love like this, it's a very beautiful thing. Mr. DJ, for the bride presentation, please. Thank you so much.
is shivering for reasons known to himself. <laughs> to their home as a Zambian Bemba bride, Mwabombeni Mwabombeni. let alone in Lusaka. I don't know how they managed to get her here. Rumor has it she is. And to our guests, the bride, the groom's mother, the groom himself, the lady in question is a very well-known and celebrated Zambian musician. She is known to sing very hearty and homely um, Zambian music, and very cultural music. It's very impossible to have her at an event, but I'm told she's here, so just give me two seconds. Mr. DJ, do you know anything?
for the next part of the program which is food and I know people have been here for quite some time so we'll just make sure that we coordinate that very well. I would like to have the groom's mother and the bride's mother to please stand next to their children. Ladies, are we together? This is a lesson that I usually do. A bride who will always, a wife will always build a house for their mother. Do you know that? It's easy for her to get money from their savings and say, you know what, my mother back home doesn't have it. It's easy for a woman, dating period, to say, this is how I feel about my mother. Women, we do that all the time. I love my mother, this is how I feel about her. And automatically, as time goes, the groom learns to love her mother the way she does. But it is the duty of the groom to inform his wife how he feels about his mother. As a mother to three sons, it worries me. It is your duty to tell your wife how you feel about your mother. She will not know. Marriage is difficult. It doesn't matter which continent you're on. But if she is wise enough to say, listen, Tell me more. He is here. 90% of us are half family. But they've traveled all this way to just experience the culture. And when we break the barriers of the accent and of where she went and the culture, the mother brought her home so that we tell her the truth. In two weeks, we found that young say, I can't kill nobody in San Bishomono. Well done. You must tell her where I come from when there's this emergency, I'm the one who gets up. When this person in the family is not well, I'm the one who gets up. There is no witchcraft or voodoo in marriage. A wise woman knows how to keep her home. I wish to the bride, the groom's mother to just bless their home with a very short prayer if that's okay can we please be silent it is with great pleasure that I was able to come here with my son and to witness this very special occasion so I thank you, God, for seeing us safely here and for all the warm and wonderful hospitality that everyone has given us. I only wish that his father, my husband, could have been here to see it, but I'm sure <laughs> I took enough pictures. Um, bless this union because these are two beautiful and wonderful souls and I'm glad that they found each other. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Can I please ask the groom's mother and the bride's mother to please take their seats. Please take your seats. I just have one more performance. As they come through the cultural group that work with me, as they come through to escort, perform, then escort the bride to escort her groom from the premises. Thank you so much.
feel about you. Mr. DJ, international or local, we proceed with the song. <laughs> This song. I thought of doing a regular edition. I'm a family member, but I'm a soul. 